Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Denny. In today's short video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the eye cord cast off or bind off method. I'm showing you here, this is my latest pattern. It is a Christmas tree skirt and I use this cast off method to have a very nice and clean edge around the skirt. So you can use this method for pretty much anything. I'm showing you here with this project because it's the one I used it for but you can use it for whatever other project you have in mind. Think a, ch a shawl or I don't know a blanket whatever you want to have a nice and clean edge you can use this method um, you can find this pattern for free on my blog at cjdesignblog.com I will leave the link in the description below and yeah now let's get into the video all you're gonna need is your current project and having it all ready to cast off and we're gonna pretend in here that these stitches are my project and I'm all ready to cast off. What we're gonna do now, um, obviously in here I have a little teeny tiny sample just to show you. For this method, we need to add three stitches. And you can use whatever method you know to add stitches. Some people like using the backward knitting method. Um, there are so many other different names and different methods. This is um, a simple loop that will make a stitch and you can use this method which is super super simple you're basically just adding loops and it's like stitches so we need to have three the one that I like and that I used in this case is like the fake knitting so I'm knitting a stitch but I'm not letting off the needle and I'm just placing the loop back on the needle so this will make a new stitch and I'm gonna do that two more times so I have in total three stitches three new stitches and we only need to do this at the beginning of the cast off uh, row we don't need to do it again it's just at the beginning to give us that foundation that we need so we have the three stitches that we need. Now here's what we're gonna do the entire bind off. We're going to knit the first stitch, knit the second, and I'm knitting here through the back just because of how the um, new stitches that I did are placed on my needle. And then the last, we're going to knit two together through the back loop. This is going to be regular how it is for the whole row we have three stitches on the needle now we're going to put those three stitches back on the left needle and you're going to notice that the yarn is coming through the stitch behind and we're going to repeat that again we're going to knit one knit two and then knit two together through the back loop of the stitch just like so we have three stitches on the right needle put them back on on your left needle and repeat again knit one knit two and then knit three together and this is how you're gonna start seeing your project being cast off. And it's a slow process, so be, be very patient and you will need a lot of yarn to do this uh, bind off method or cast off method because we are needing a stitches over and over again. So you're gonna need a lot of yarn to do that. But in this pattern, I have already um, the amount of yarn needed for the whole project plus the cast off. Again, the free pattern is going to be on my blog, but that's basically what you're going to continue doing. You're going to repeat this until all your stitches are, are off your needles. You're going to have three left and all you do is cast off the last two stitches normal as a regular cast off until you have none <laughs> and all your stitches are off your needle. So this is how it looks like, super pretty, super quick, and it gives such a nice little touch to your knitting project. I hope you guys enjoy this quick little tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!